right now. I'm supposed to be on vacation, but the phone's ringing, so I'm gonna go do some landscape and tree quotes. Line up that work. So I just left a quote. This guy wanted his trees trimmed up, and he had five oak trees. And I looked at it thoroughly, went over it with it. I say, well, 800 bucks to trim up the trees. And that goes, the guy says, ah, that's way too high. And in that moment, I could tell he had no idea what it would cost, what it would have costed in the first place to trim his trees. But his tactic was, no matter what I told him, he was going to say that's way too high. So I felt disrespected. And I just got pissed off. I said, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to write it up for you, and I'll give you a card, and call me if you want it done. I start walking away from him. And the guy starts following me out to my truck, saying, no, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm like, what? See where I'm going here? Now, in the beginning, I used to be totally opposite. I would let him talk me all the way down to 600, 500, 300. <laughs> <laughs> like a little crybaby because I was so you know attached emotionally and financially which is a very real thing but now I'm just like you know I know when I wake up in the morning I look in the mirror I am worth something I have value and I'm not I'm risking my life going up in this guy's trees trimming his trees up and I am a fully licensed insured company I'm just not doing it for any less and yeah, that's really what it comes down to so I'm coming to another quote right now. We just had some bad storms here in Michigan. And this guy's got a big branch hanging. He said it's about to break off. So, you know. Now, if I'm not getting any jobs and my price is too high, then I'll start lowering my prices or giving them discounts or something like that. But you always want to try to keep your prices high and really get paid what you're worth. You're not in a job anymore. Okay, you're not working all week for, you know, 400 bucks. This is, this is your life here. Hear what I'm saying? This is your life here, we're talking about. So where you're gonna be in 10 years is a direct reflection of where you are on the inside. All right, I'm pulling up at this quote. I'll see you there. Uh, so irritated. This ash tree in this guy's backyard. Now, trust me, what you're seeing in the, in the video, this thing is way bigger than it looks. I look at this thing, I'm like, okay, a thousand bucks to take that away was knocked over in a storm. A tree standing is the same price as a tree on the ground. And that thing's big. I said, I already know it's cutthroat season right now. Dude, give me 850 cash, I'll do it. I'm not going any lower than 850. I know exactly what it costs me to do that tree to make runs to the dump and everything. I don't have a big commercial chipper, so I, you know, I could do it for 700 bucks, but I'd be pissed. But, so I told him 850. I said, what else did someone else, you know, what other quotes did you get? He's like, oh, I got a quote for 250 bucks. 250 dollars? That's my, that's my cost. So I don't know what these other tree service companies are smoking, but I would never do that. So if you look at this thing, look at the base on this. You stick a chainsaw on that, you hit one thing and dull that blade, boop, 30 bucks. Dull another chain, boop, 30 bucks. Theoretically, in time, so, walk you around it, yeah, no way. So today what I was saying, my good friend William, this guy's a genius, I already told you about him, Young Masters Tree Service, I was on the phone with him earlier saying, you know, I was asking him, do you think I'm going in the wrong direction here, am I... Am I not calibrated properly? Do you think my prices too are too high? Or he's like, listen, if a guy's a plumber, he doesn't know shit about trees or what it costs to do a tree. He can only speculate, just like you don't know what it costs to do plumbing. So these people don't know. So when they tell you a price, when you tell them a price, they kind of just have to trust you. But I mean, you know what it's worth, and that's what you got to get. So when you really detach from all the emotions and you just it's, it's the ability to divorce yourself from the chaos of the moment, go out, and then see what's going on and go back in and execute without being emotionally attached, which I'm very emotionally attached to a lot of stuff anyway. Yes. Just uh, sold a oak tree trim right now. 400 bucks to trim up some branches. 
take away the brush, but leave uh, the logs, chop them, stack them up firewood size. We'll be in and out of here in an hour. But I had to really play hardball with the customer and look him dead in his eyes and sit there and conversate with him for about 20 minutes and, you know, earn his trust because he don't know how much this stuff costs. But here we are. Uh, this one here, we're just tr trimming up the scraggly stuff and a few branches going over those arborvitaes pretty quick. And then this oak right here. <laughs> Extra discount for videotaping your property. <laughs> and then trimming these. This one, gone. Some of the dead stuff in there. And then that one. It's draping low. And then that other one coming off of the side there. So that's it. Alright, bye. Alright, so I'm not trying to be a wah, 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 Debbie Downer, but... I don't know if it's cutthroat season or what right now. It obviously is because I just did three quotes in the past 24 hours and all three of them, the customer dropped their mouth like, what? I got a quote for this much. And obviously, you know, you ask them, well, like my friend William says, he says, can they show you the quote? How do you know they're bullshitting you? Show, have them show you the quote. And a lot of times they do lie. But now this is talking about, you know, removing trees and stuff. We do tons of landscaping, but, you know, I like doing tree work because there's money in it. So I'm just kind of frustrated because I've been broke. I've scrounged and dumped out change to pay the bills plenty of times. I know the feeling and anxiety of being flat broke. So I've raised my prices and I stick to my prices. I'm just not working for 10 bucks an hour anymore. You know, after you, you figure out gas, labor, insurance, taxes, wear and tear on your equipment and all that shit... You gotta see what your real, real bottom line is and what you're really making and what you're not making and, and face the brutal reality. And when I do this guy's tree, I look at it, I say, okay, I wanna make 500 bucks off that tree. If I'm gonna be here all day and bring my crew here and dripping in sweat, doing all this, I want 500 bucks profit for that tree. I don't, I don't know if you think that's a lot of money. That's not a lot of money! Okay, I just wanted to get that off my chest. <laughs> I know you... 500 bucks in a day is not a lot of money. It's only 2,500 bucks a week. Oh, Keith, you're, you're, you're on your high horse. I am not on my high horse. We're doing work for people who live in mansions. Okay? If you're... Your landscape company, my landscape company, is rinky-dink little peanuts stuff. See, now I'm getting negative. I never wanted to put this on the show. I can clearly, absolutely see... If I'm a 31-year-old grown-ass man myself, I mean, we should be pulling down minimum 100000 a year profit, okay?